Dear Rector, Dear Excellencies, Dear Colleagues and Ladies and Gentlemen, Surprises always come unexpected. And I must say this was a big surprise. I was spending some time in South Africa, Stellenbosch, and I got this invitation. First I thought this must be a wrong sent message. But then I discovered that it wasn't, and it, it's a beautiful honor to become honorary doctorate at the University of Leuven, this well-known and top university in Europe, in, in the world. Uh, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of our perspectives, which you heard briefly, also from Eric. And uh, from our point of view, people are part of the biosphere, the thin layer around the planet where life exists. It's a very obvious thing to say, but something we often have forgotten, I think, in, in contemporary society. And at the same time, we as people are now shaping the biosphere, not only locally or re regionally, but also all the way up to the global scale, which is an enormous achievement, of course, for a single species on Earth to be able to sh shape the planet at the global scales. So we used to say that before we lived in a small world on a big planet, today we're living in a big world on a small planet. The point with that, though, is that we are completely dependent on a functioning biosphere for our own development. We can't develop economically or socially if the planet doesn't provide us with food, water, and other critical ecosystem services. So that's basically the framework that we are operating from now. It's, it's, a, it's a new type of mind shift from looking at the environment as a sector or something outside society that we bring in when we have preferences for it, to recognition that a healthy environment is a precondition for a good social and economic life, a good life for us and coming generation on Earth. And as you also know, we are living with complex societies, and that's why we use this concept of resilience, which is the capacity to live with change and continue to develop, to float and live with change. So that's a little bit about the, the focus we have uh, in, uh, in this linked social and ecological system, the totally intertwined systems of people and nature today on planet Earth. And that is also referred to as sustainability science. It's a sort of a new platform, a new area, bringing diverse disciplines together to try to capture and understand, and generate knowledge about this new phase that humanity is in on planet Earth for the good of humanity. Uh, in that sense, there are a lot of groups all over the world that are taking on those challenges, of course, and a lot of institutes created all over the, all over the planet. And in that sense, it's really encouraging to, to see that University of Leuven is creating a nice space for that type of interdisciplinary work, also bringing in uh, other areas of, of engineering and, and, uh, and human health and these type of aspects uh, in such a strong way. And I think that this whole platform of sustainability science will be a total precondition and a big demand for in, in the future to come. Uh, and there, there are exciting to see the work that's been done now at the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences here at this university so, that I looked into a bit. Uh, I'm, of course, extremely happy and proud that our research and our research groups is recognized like this. And I would just like to end with thanking you immensely for this great honor. Thank you very much.